Ok, well the thing is that I'm an indie developer, as you can tell. I have the not game and gel junk, but the earnings I've got like five bucks in six months. Yeah, reality. Not much as you can tell. How do you even feed your kids? I don't quite get it. What I'm doing wrong? I started small, my friend. Um the how I what I don't the way I started it is making small game for flash game license uh, over there. I started over there, uh, they helped us a lot by monetizing our flash game. So we started small, we did like a game in a week and then a game in three weeks and then a game in two months. Uh, but like fin fin finally, ah, like making the whole game, completing a game in one week or three weeks or a couple of months and we put that over there and we've been able to, to do a couple of thousands of bucks over there you know by selling your game to sponsors or publishers and stuff like that so after a while we got good and we got good at pumping out game quickly but still having a big quality in the game and still having our own personality you know so the whole thing is to try to get creative on their under um, not specification I'm, I'm under like requirement or under boundaries that you make to yourself like what kind of game can I do in three weeks okay not that not an RPG not this not that okay maybe this I'm gonna try to do that and then polish that blah, 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 make a cool game and then try to sell that to uh, people over there so that's how I we made at flash game license uh, with the flash game license guys that's how we made back then in 2008 now there's a billion ways to do that but that's how we did uh, so yeah that's that's what I can do that's what I, I can say but I make games in unity is the same thing do you still earn money for games from the past from the past not well not not a lot uh, the biggest thing that we get from the game from the past is our uh, reputation so people know us people are still playing our games today like people are still playing Eros arm and make a commando which we did in 2008 uh, but you know we are still we still have some people uh, knowing the berserk brand you know talking about berserk studio so that's the biggest thing we can have so we are getting more fans as the uh, as the day uh, as time pass, you know, but we don't we don't make lots of money out of past games, unfortunately. But um, um what I was talking. So if you do your stuff in Unity, yes, you can do a mobile game with that. And my Flash and License do uh, well actually FGL uh, also help you monetize your mobile game. Actually, they are looking more into mobile game than Flash games. If I'm not seeing. Uh, anything if I'm not saying bullshit, but I think it's uh, I Think they're really looking into uh, mobile games nowadays more than flash games. Hang on The place where indie game developer go interact blah 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 Yeah, Flash is in three formatizing service for Android iOS unity flash and HTML5 games uh, so you know they helped us a lot a lot making what we are today you know, and at one point you'll get good if you keep pumping games. One point maybe you'll find some clients from publishers saying, "Hey, can you make a game for me?" And then you make a game like a contract work, so you can uh, get still be creative uh, while making money. Like for example, there was a client uh, last year or two years ago. They asked us, uh, "Can you make a game for us?" We're like, "Okay, let's talk." And they say, "We want a, a clone of Berserk Ball 2." And we're like. You want us to clone our own game? What the hell? And he was like, yeah, we like that game, but we want to make like, the same kind of game. We were like, okay, but we want to have the control, the full control over the creativity, you know? We have like, we're gonna make another game like Berserk Ball 2, but we won't clone the game. So we did keep the creator. And, uh, you know, he just wanted something that looked similar, but was not exactly the same thing. So we did something completely different while still being in the uh, the boundaries of Berserk Ball 2. So it's, it doesn't look like Berserk Ball 2 at all, but it still has the same feeling. You know, it's a launcher game and everything. My point being, even while we were working for a client, even if it was contractual, contractual work, we had two things. And that's the two things that I always look when I do work for other people. Let me see that over there. I'm gonna write them down because it's fucking super important. Things number one, obviously money. Does it worth it? 
Does it, do you have enough money? Is, does that contract work give you enough money to continue? So that's the no-brainer. The second one is, can you still be creative? Can you still build creative in your work? Does that client want to only like uh, make me a Flappy Bird uh, 3 with uh, exactly the same thing? So, you know, if I have those two things in a contract, we're in the contract... Uh, if I have both of those things for uh, contract work, I'm gonna say yes, okay? Well, it depends on a lot of other things, like do we have a time and everything, but if I uh, still have, if I, if I have those two things, there's more chance that I'm gonna say yes, you know? So I can use that money afterwards to spend on my own stuff, like on my own, on my own games. Think about that like... Okay, first you have to think about that like a company at some points, like you have to think about that like if you were running a company. Second, think about that as if you were a musician. Uh, you will be working on an album, but sometimes maybe you will be working like making some music for a client here and there, you know? Make me a, make me a song for the beginning of my show, a boring show, thing, you know, whatever. Uh, so you will be doing that sometime, you know? to fund your own stuff, to fund your own album. So, it's a balance between the two. I babble for like 10 minutes, I hope you got something out of that. I tend to do that, I tend to, to do those things. For yeah, for King the Critter, for example, the money was good, and we were able to do whatever the fuck we wanted with that. So, yeah, he, he gave us like a blank page, he said like, okay, do whatever you want. I was like, okay! So we kept, we still have been able to put our name on it, like Brazil Studio, and we still have been able to do our Brazil feeling in it. So yeah, for me it's like, for me it's not like, oh it's a contractual work, so you, you just don't that for money. No, for me, when I can still be creative, uh, I count that as school where you get paid. You know, you still learn and somebody's paying you for doing that. So yeah. That was my babbling about that. That's your friends. What are you going to keep Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, recently I love making game, but if I can feed myself, I can't do that anymore. I don't live with my...